Yeah, what was that? And the trillions of, of gallons of water that's going to be falling over the Carolinas? Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, now we've got an update this afternoon on a pay it forward from a few months ago. Handy Hands Reflections makes personalized scrapbooks for families who have lost a loved one. But both the charity and its founder recently suffered their losses. They lost the space on their workspace, the lease on their workspace, and Jackie Kelsch also lost a son. So it has been a very rough summer. But now things are looking up. CBS 2's Haley Kramer live at their new place to show us how they're overcoming adversity. Today, Handy Hands Reflections is moving into its new home. And for them, it's a positive move forward after a tough couple of months. This is Turn from it. all your team. <laughs> God, it's beautiful. Hey, we just have to find a place to put it now. Yeah. Today was a day to celebrate for founder Jackie Kelsch and her team as they started moving boxes into their new workspace after losing the last one earlier this year. I just can't believe how much has happened in three months. She says everything was going so smoothly until they were told they had to leave the space they had been crafting in for the past five years. I said we're a very functioning, very lot of work sitting on my desk. I can't just fold it up just like that. They were given until June 8th to move out, but they had nowhere else to go. And in the midst of this sudden move, a personal tragedy. It's really hard. Uh, I knew how to help others through that, but to have help the people try to help me, it's not a position I was ever thought I would be in or want to be in or need to be in. Kelsch's son Jake died suddenly during an accident at work. Her son's death impacted all of us um, because we all love her, love working with her, and but it's, it's another um, passage in life that we like to help people with and yet when it kind of came home it was a reminder again in a big way you just you you're given today just a few days before her son died he told her he would help her find a new place through his passing he i think he actually has because when i drove in here to look in the windows it was like i've always told both my kids you're going to get a no until you ask Go in and ask, you know, it's like a slap upside the head. Mom, just go ask. All they can do is say no. So that's what she did. She went inside and met one of the owners of Jones Vac and Sew, who agreed to share the space. She loved what we did and I, I don't know, I mean, why she opened our doors to us, but I'm so thankful, so thankful. And I just feel my son led me here and is still helping today. Kelsch and her team tried to keep up with orders out of their home, but now they're about 30 albums behind. And they say they're excited about moving into this new space. And um, from what I saw today, they work really fast. So I think they'll be back to work in no time. Live in Boise, Haley Kramer, CBS 2 News.